How's it going everyone? It's John here from Techno Buffalo and I've got the Nokia N8 here and I'm going to share with you guys my experiences with it. The Nokia N8 is a Symbian powered all touchy touchy phone that's made out of metal and glass with a 12 megapixel camera. I've been a Symbian user for maybe about 3 or 4 years before I started using devices like the Blackberry and now the iPhone and I'm going to approach this review through the eyes of an average user. You know, like the average Joe or Jane. I actually don't know anybody named Joe or Jane. You know, just like a regular person who wants to do simple things like texting, email, web browsing, watch videos, mobile gaming, and so on. Because honestly, you shouldn't need three to four years of experience with a mobile OS to use the darn thing. The hardware on the N8 is fantastic. It's probably one of the most solid feeling devices I've ever held. The slim profile is definitely very welcome compared to other Nokia devices like the Nokia N97 and the Nokia N900. A downside to the slimmer profile would be a smaller battery, but it's not too bad. It should get you through the day with regular media and data usage. You know, 3 G Wi-Fi making phone calls and listening to your jammy jams or music. I think that's about all the pros that I can say about the Nokia N8. The software in this thing, sorry to say, but it's terrible. In my opinion, Symbian is very outdated compared to other mobile OS's like iOS and Android OS. The UI is blah. Settings are a little confusing and folders look like applications. So sometimes apps can be within a folder within a folder and you can never tell. Unless of course you're used to the operating system. Sure, you can load up a theme with folder icons, but seriously, why would you need to do that? Things like social networking and texting feel like a calculation. Anything that involves text entry on the Nokia N8 is, well, a chore. In portrait mode, you're presented with the traditional dial pad layout. No portrait quarter keyboard here. Yeah, it's got T9 predictive texting, but I'd much rather have a portrait quarter keyboard. The landscape keyboard could have been a lot better. Autocorrect isn't available, and I find the placement of the left and right arrow keys very annoying. Not only does it make the spacebar unnecessarily smaller, but I always find myself accidentally pressing either left or right, which screws up whatever I'm typing which is definitely not happy face. On top of that, even though the Nokia N8 supports multi-touch, the area where I feel like multi-touch is needed the most, you know, the on-screen QWERTY keyboard, it's not there. This requires you to fully lift off your finger before trying to type another key, or the previous key that you entered doesn't show up. Once you get used to the keyboard, it's not that big of a deal, but it definitely slows you down. Not to mention, you always have to be consciously aware of how you're typing on top of what you're typing. I mean, I just want to respond to my friend telling him that I like balloons. Is it that hard? I mean, gah! Texting is definitely improved compared to other high-end Symbian devices like the Nokia N97. The integration of threaded text Text messaging definitely makes the flow of conversation a lot more organic, but it's not as pretty as that on the iPhone, but hey, at least it works. Next would be email. On my mobile device, email is huge. I do a lot of work via email, and the Nokia N8's emailing system, it's terrible. It's, it's poo. There is no unified inbox. It's not that big of a deal, but it would be great for me as I have seven accounts fetching at one time. And basic things like scrolling through an inbox is dreadful. I mean, look at this. What is this? It lags like crazy and you always accidentally open emails while you try to scroll. Okay, the Nokia N8 is fully capable of smooth kinetic scrolling as you can see from this photo application, but why can't it do it with emails? I have absolutely no idea. Opening emails, of course, is just the first half. Replying is the second half and it's really, really tough if you need to write out long emails on the Nokia N8. It's about this point where it just kind of opt to just reading emails on the N8 and use my computer to reply to everything or just not use the N8 for email at all. I feel like this happens a lot with the Nokia N8 and any Symbian device that I've ever used. Whether it's emailing, web browsing, watching YouTube videos, whatever. I always just opt to just doing it on my computer. Well, it's a phone! You're just supposed to make phone calls! I'm sure we've all heard that plenty of times. And yes, the Nokia N8 is a phone and it's great at making phone calls. But then, why have all those features in the phone in the first place? With Symbian devices, I feel like they have a lot of features and they can do a lot of things. But they can't do those things very well. Sort of like a jack of all trades master none kind of thing. I think that's the first time I said that in front of camera, you know, that phrase. Feels great. At this point in the mobile game, I definitely don't think it's good enough anymore, especially if your competition is the iPhone or the latest Android smartphone. One of the huge selling points of the Nokia N8 would be the camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera loaded with a Xenon flash that can autofocus and record 720p HD videos. The camera works as you would expect it to, and it's nice to be able to control certain things like white balance, exposure, ISO, and so on. And that's something that's missing from the iPhone 4. Aha! Uh -huh. Like the iPhone, you can also record videos from the front-facing camera. This is a personal thing, but as a YouTuber, a huge, huge plus would be able to have a solid mobile YouTube experience. The N8 is mediocre at this. 
The videos play with the Flash supported web browser, but the video quality is pretty bad, even over a strong Wi-Fi connection. And the video quality is terrible compared to that of the iPhone 4s. The Symbian application store or Ovi store is dreadful. I think I'm running out of adjectives here. It's terrible, dreadful, poo. Poo's not an adjective. Who's a noun? First of all, it doesn't come pre-installed in the Nokia N8. There's an icon, but it takes you to a website that asks you if you want to install it. After you do, I personally don't think that there's a lot of useful applications out there. But that's totally a personal thing, as for example, I've only installed a handful of applications on my iPhone. You know, out of the bajillion amount of apps out there that involve farting or taking a picture of your face and then making you look chubby for laughs. Ha 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 ha. I honestly can't help but compare the Nokia N8 to say the iPhone or the latest Android smartphone because as a user, you're pretty much choosing your mobile smartphone and then your mobile operating system. Plus, the iPhone is sort of like the only non semen touch phone that I have, so I physically can't compare the N8 to anything else. And because these phones are around the $500 and up price range, the last thing you want to feel is buyer's remorse. So, for you, I highly recommend you do your research, watch videos, eat your vegetables, and Try the phones out in real life if you can. Borrow your friend's phone, but make sure you let them know or else that'd be stealing. Overall, I personally don't like the N8. It's, it's a lot better than say the Nokia N97 or the Nokia 5800. The camera and hardware is fantastic on this thing, but that's about it. For me at least. If you're into ease of use with a very pretty and organic looking UI, definitely go for the iPhone or something Android loaded. But if you're a die-hard Symbian fan, then I recommend you skip the Nokia N8 and get the Nokia C7. It's pretty much the same phone but the hardware keyboard. That's the key. That'll keep your anxiety levels low when you need to, you know, do typity typity. Well, I hope you found this review helpful. This was John from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!